I train live production skills as part of the uh, Media Technology Bachelor course at the St. Pölten uh, Fachhochschule or Applied Science University in St. Pölten in, in uh, Austria. And we teach live production skills in a very short period of time. So I get students at the beginning of the process who understand some of the roles in studio. So we talk them through the theory of a multi-camera production, what the roles are. Uh, and then by the end of their 13, 14 hours over five lectures with me, they are making a live TV show. Wow, that's quite Now impressive. in order to do that, they've got to build a rundown, they've got to build a script. And so for the last few years doing that, um, we've given them Tinkerlist to do that on. And what's absolutely incredible is I don't have time in my lectures to really explain how the software works. But you just give it to the students and you say, look, this is how you build a rundown, this is how you do this. You have a play. They can figure it out. And, and they just figure it out. The barrier to entry of our industry has always been, um, uh, you know, a technical knowledge or a process knowledge, you know, or it's taken a long time to train as a production assistant. Whereas, you know, as the technology becomes more intuitive, the user interfaces are much more recognizable from what we're used to every day on our computers and devices and smartphones. In, in a way, that, that takes away sort of barriers of entry, right? So it means that you don't need to be an expert in a specific process or piece of technology in order to do the job. So if you like, you could argue it's a sort of, it has a democratizing effect because it means sort of more people do it, anyone can do it. Um, and that's important. Um, the other thing is, frankly, assistive software is, is what we're going to need. We look, we've all got to do, all of us are having to do more in less time because those are the circumstances in which we're working. And so we need assistive software to get us through that, to help. And it will also mean we can do things that we previously couldn't do because it, it leverages complexity. So we can be more adventurous, more creative. What, what all this assistive software does, and Qs does it very, very well, is it just makes it faster to do the stuff you hate doing so you can spend more time on the stuff you love doing being creative coming up with ideas changing the script until your show's better being more reactive you know you think about the stuff it takes away from you right when we used to make television shows a few decades ago we would do scripts and rundowns with typewriters right there were people whose only job was to sit there for a whole day typing a new page of a rundown because the producer had swapped item 9 and 17 and then it would take someone an hour and a half to retype that page. It's really wasting time. Well, you know, but, but look at the friction in that creative process, right? To just change two ideas of a rundown, someone's got to sit there and type it for an hour and a half. And, and what the assistive software does is it just, it takes that friction away so that you can really focus not on the process but, but on the purpose of what you're doing, telling that great story.